Hello and welcome to the Digitech PP355 multi-effect bass, multi-effect uh, short tutorial and uh, I will use this uh, short video to demonstrate how easy it is to program this machine. Well, let's start off by uh, just zooming out as you can see the machine. Uh, you have two stone boxes pedals which uh, the left one is used to scroll down from the list of 70 user uh, presets and user presets I mean factory presets and the user presets and this pedal is used to scroll up you can use it to scroll by pressing one time at a time or just press continuously and it will scroll up or scroll down okay this machine is built in a very easy to comprehend um, matrix design which allows you to see every parameter of this uh, the big list of effects and, and categories to program it so first of all as you can see there are two small triangular shape buttons that allows you to scroll up and down parameters so this uh, column of lights, where you can see the red and green lights, will show you exactly which in which category you are when you are scrolling. The name on the second column will show you the name of the <coughs> category. So I hope you can see it. The first one is the fretless wah wah. The second is compressors distortion amplifiers and I think it includes the cabinets and all the related parameters equalizers noise gate chorus and various effects I will show you the list later delay reverb and the expression pedal which controls the the volume pedal on the right side of the effect of the unit Let's move it a bit. Okay, so let's zoom back in. And I'm using a tripod here, so I hope it will. Uh, you can see it clearly, the letters. Well, let's start by scrolling up. Okay, one more thing. There is the looper, which is in the bottom of the list, and it is also used to control the drums. So I'll now scroll up to the. Oh, down to go to the first category which is the wawa and fretless parameters or category and as you can see on the the right side of the LED bar you can see that the wah effects is turned off so pressing this knob down will turn it on and of course uh, doing it the second time it will turn it off so when pressing down and turning it on, you can rotate it to scroll uh, in, in a variety of uh, wawa and fretless effects. Okay, and using the next five uh, tuning knobs, you can uh, program additional parameters. Not all knobs are used in every parameter or effect because not all the effects have the same number of parameters but as you can see you you can use each now when you have these lines of uh, dash dash lines yeah it means that the knob is not used in this uh, parameter so let's uh, go and see okay now moving to the second one the compressor which as I remember it has uh, three models of quite famous uh, compressors, pedal compressors, which is the Digitech compressor, the CS from Boss, and the Dynacomp from MXR. Again, parameters are for each uh, pedal, and as you can see, the lists here uh, will let you know which uh, parameter each knob is controlling. Let's go to distortion. Distortion has many, many, many 
pedal simulations. I think it has about 29, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, they are very good. I like to play with them. And uh, moving back to the amplifiers. You can select which model and then sub model or cab or heads. I'm not sure. I'm not that uh, knowledgeable in this area. Again, moving to the equalizer, you can use mid boost, scoop, bright, warm, and of course control the related parameters. Noise gates, of course. Chorus effects, which has many many very good effects. Chorus, flanger, phasers, multi-phasers, multi multi-flangers, multi-chorus, uh, pitch-related effects, detuning, octaving, again, and delays, again, lots of uh, variety here, here, and reverb, of course, which is uh, based on the lexicon reverb and expression pedal which I never use because I don't bother to use the pedal but you can and you can control which parameter the, the pedal is using or affecting uh, the drums you can turn it on and play with the rock or whichever style pattern you want there are 60 which are not programmable and uh, you could play with them. Now to store the effect you have to press this red button here let's zoom out this button it will start li uh, shimmering and uh, now you can use the first knob to rename the, the preset so going by uh, turning this uh, knob and then to move the cursor to the next letter you use the second knob and change to whatever letter you want and then you can continue and if you press the store button again it will allow you to select by scrolling the pedals so here I'm in the first user preset I'm going to, to the 6th or the 5th, uh, let's go to the 6th, and when I'm good with the location I'm pressing store again, and that's it. This is where you, and how you store it. Thank you very much for this short tutorial. I'm, I'm sure it's not the most professional one, but who cares? I hope you, it, in, it helped you understand what potential the machine has. There are two additional videos. One of them is uh, me playing 20 minutes of, of the 70 presets that came from the factory. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.